Welcome to another video from BMC YouTube channel. Today's video I will show you how to troubleshoot issues with missing fields in the screen configuration views of Smart IT. Let me show you how to add a custom field to Smart IT Incident View. Here in Dev Studio, I've opened up the Help Desk form and I've created a custom field called Environment. You can see here under Properties the field ID and the database name. When you create a field, please make sure that it doesn't have the underscore underscore dash C in it. I've added the exact same field under here, Incident Interface. And again, you'll see it has the, the exact same database name and the exact same field ID. And you can see from the join information, it has the exact same information. This field was added to the form by right-clicking on the form and selecting the field from the first HPD Help Desk form. Do not select it from the second but from the first form in the list. Next, I've added it to the Incident Interface Create form. Again, the same database name and the same database field ID. And then I added it to the HPD SLM joined outer form. Again, you see the field here. It has the same database name and the same database ID as the base form. And again, this field was added by right-clicking and selecting the field from the HPD Help Desk form. The next task that needs to be done is to update the filter. From the Push Fields Actions, go all the way to the bottom, and then you add your field, Environment and our Environment. Save all the forms and save your filter. Next, we need to go to Smart IT and update the screen configuration. From Configuration, go to Screen Configuration and update the two views, Incident View and Create Incident View. From the Create Incident View, you select where you want to add your field, Go record description, you search for your new custom field, and you click the plus sign to move it over to the right, and you save. Make sure you get the message field configuration updated successfully. And then refresh your metadata for your create incident view and get the green successful message of metadata for create incident view refresh successfully. Next step is to update the incident view. Again, select where you would like your new field to be added, search for your custom field, Click the plus sign to move it to the right and save. Again, you need to get the green successful message of field configuration updated successfully. Refresh your metadata. Now, when you open up your incident, you will see your new custom field called environment. Remember to always refresh your Smart IT screen configuration metadata and that it's successful. However, sometimes you may still be having an issue. If this occurs, for incident, change, task, and work order, please review the data in these two forms listed. And also in Dev Studio, it would be best to confirm the views being referenced in the forms below. Here, let me show you. Opened up the form SMT Smart IT Layout Metadata Master. I've searched for the ITSM field ID for my custom field, and I have two records, one for incident views and one for create incident. And on this other form, again, I have two entries, both for my custom field ID. If I go to Smart IT and I remove my custom field environment, I save it, I refresh my metadata, and I refresh these two screens. You will see the incident create has disappeared, as well as the other entry here on this one. Now to confirm the views, I will open up Dev Studio. I've opened up the SMT Smart IT Layout Metadata Master, and if you go to the Definitions tab under other definitions, view information, you will see the view that this form references. So this is another step that should be taken if you are still having issues seeing your custom field. When adding custom fields to people, problem, known error, and asset, you must look at data in different forms and confirm the data source ID that is being used. Also, there's two forms in Smart IT Business which should be reviewed. Here I've opened up the one form, the SMT Administration Customized Application Data Source Attribute. And you will see here that in this system, we have added two custom fields, a priority weight and the KE underscore text field. And it's associated to data source ID 4325 and 5623. If I open up the SMT T administration application data source form and I search for those data source values, you will see that these forms are associated to the BPM 
known error form and the BPM problem incident create form, which are used to create known errors. In this scenario, I've opened up the customization area cell, and if I look at the data in the system, there's two entries. You can see the customization field name is KE text and the priority weight. If I go back to my smart IT view, I go to record summary, I remove my KE text field and I save it. And if I go back to smart IT, you'll know here in the customization and I refresh, both of the entries are removed because known error only has one smart IT view. Bring back the data in the customized area cell and I go to the data, you will see there is only one record priority weight. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and we will see you in our next video.